Hello everybody! Today we're going to ultrasonic clean a plunger from a calf tier. So we're using the GT Sonic 750ml ultrasonic cleaner which I've unboxed before and what we're cleaning is this very gunked up calf tier plunger which we've also unboxed before. This is from the Milio calf tier. Okay, as you can see, the plunger assembly is somewhat gunked up with the residue from coffee grinds after making numerous cups of coffee and you can see in close-up detail just how gunked up it is. So giving you that close-up look. And of course it is slightly oily as well from the oil of the coffee beans and on the filter side of the plunger assembly you can see that the mesh or filter is somewhat gunked up as well on the top side of it right there giving you that close-up look okay so it is completely dried out and just setting that down you can see this plunger assembly does belong as part of the milio cafetier And the calf here is slightly dirty as well. The spout has some residual coffee stains on it as well, as you can see, or grime. However, it's been rinsed out, not washed, but rinsed out. So you can see the inside is nice and shiny and clean. However, this will not fit in the GT Sonic 750 ML ultrasonic cleaner. So we're just going to have to wash or ultrasonic clean the plunger assembly okay with the plungers with the ultrasonic cleaner as I've mentioned we've unboxed and tested this before but that time around it was with a pair of correction glasses so just giving you a look all around if you've not seen it before at this compact ultrasonic cleaner with a 750 milliliter tank capacity so setting it down let's first open the lid so at least give you a change of view and inside there is a tray or holder here and taking a look inside you can see does have a stainless steel tank inside the GT Sonic 750ml ultrasonic cleaner. So what we're going to do is actually remove the tray or carriage from the GT Sonic ultrasonic cleaner and then disassemble this once again very gunked up plunger assembly of the Milio calf tier. So you can see, especially with the mesh, you want to be careful when washing it, especially if you're using a sponge to scrub it down because you don't really want to damage the filter. And by using the ultrasonic cleaner, it will prolong its life and usage. So let's go ahead and take it all apart by unscrewing the top of the plunger. So the top comes off, placing it in the tray and then sliding out the rest of the assembly with the lid, as you can see, gunked up and just giving you that look here side by side in good detail of just how used this plunger assembly is and taking a look at that mesh filter 
and let's unscrew the rest of the parts there. You can see it just about fits into the tray right there. And of course, taking apart the base plate and the rest of the parts right there, the filter, the fastening plate, and the spreader on the left. So nice good view there, and you can see once again just how grimy it is with the coffee stains or coffee residue. Now let's set it all in the tray, pile them up right there, once again, giving you that close-up detail of the grime from pressing many, many cups of coffee and only just rinsing them through under the tap. But this time around, we've got the GT Sonic 750ml ultrasonic cleaner, so just moving it closer in view. And let's pour some water in. So there is a max line here. So just be mindful of the water level, not to exceed it. So we bring it close to that water level right there. And making some allowance for the displacement for these parts to go in. So let's drop it into the cleaner right there. And we can continue to top the water level up some more. So everything is submerged right there. Okay, so just making through, giving it a little bit more water. And right there. Now just giving you that look before I close that lid down since my pouring handle is in the way. And actually before I do that, let's add some washing up liquid, some fairy washing up liquid. So popping up the cap and giving it a few drops right there, or just a light pour. Closing the lid, and of course flipping the switch on to the ultrasonic cleaner. And just gonna give you a more centralized view right there. So we're going to do some shifting around and you can see the blue light has come on on the inside. Let's turn it on and let's set the time to the maximum time of 480 seconds. So 480 seconds, it's counting down. Now it's at 435 seconds. So 480 seconds is 8 minutes, so it is clocking down now, just under the 400 second mark. I can, and you can see the top window misting up slightly.
And now it's nearing the 5 minute mark at 300 seconds. And now it's nearing the 3 minute mark at 180 seconds. And now the countdown timer is approaching the 120 second or 2 minute mark. And now only a hundred seconds to go. And now the countdown timer is at 60 seconds. And now only 30 seconds to go now.
10 seconds to go. Three, two, one. And that's eight minutes of ultrasonic cleaning. The plunger assembly, let's lift the lid up. And turn off, of course, the power supply to the ultrasonic cleaner. And you can see that the water has turned somewhat murky. And you can see just how much cleaner. Of course, let me bring a paper towel here so you can see how much cleaner the lid is after eight minutes of ultrasonic cleaning. A lot cleaner, but the top surface is not very clean because it wasn't fully submerged in the water tank. It was sticking out slightly, so the top area or the bottom area, as you, as you can see, of this lid of the plunger assembly of the Milio cafetier hasn't been washed or cleaned properly because, as I mentioned, it was not fully submerged. However, the rest of the lid seems to have gone through a very good cleaning cycle, given that it did have a heap of coffee grime gunked around the edges and recesses of the underside of this plunger lid. Okay, so let's set that down and take a look at the rest of the part. So this is just going to rinse it out slightly because there are some large coffee grinds in the mesh. So you can see that the mesh is a lot cleaner as well. It just needs a run through under the tap because it's just these residual pieces that are clinging on to the mesh. But you can see a lot cleaner right now at this close up look of the filter. Set the mesh fil filter down. Take a look at the other parts. So of course, the top of the plunger, nice and clean and shiny. Of course, this was on the exterior part of the plunger. So nothing too much to clean. Definitely no coffee grinds that were clinging to it before. And take a look at the spreader right now. Spreader is so much cleaner, however, it could do with a more thorough cleaning or longer cycle or second cycle, as there are still some parts or bits of coffee grinds still clinging to the inner edges of the spreader. But nonetheless, overall, very clean. As I mentioned, the plunger was in a very dry state, so obviously a more or thorough or longer soak would have prepped the plunger assembly for better cleaning or more effective cleaning. So right there, taking a look at the base plate. It's pretty, pretty clean. Of course, there's some residual coffee stains. So a much longer clean or pre-soak would have helped with the ultrasonic cleaning but nonetheless given that it did go through an eight minute ultrasonic clean it has done remarkably well given the, the amount of caked up and dried up coffee grinds that were that have built up onto the plunger assembly. So there we go. So overall, very nice and much cleaner than before, but definitely could do with a pre-soak as I mentioned, or another round of ultrasonic cleaning. So that's the GT Sonic 750 milliliter ultrasonic cleaner. Thanks for watching and happy cleaning.